This is Kristen Garlitz with APS EdTech with a quick tip for students on how to get into testing mode on your Chromebook. First of all, students, it's very important that you shut down your Chromebook properly so that it can run updates before you begin testing. So a day or two before you begin testing, if you haven't shut it down recently, click on the time in the bottom right corner, then click on the shutdown button in the top here, and then make sure you shut down and let it fully run updates before you close the lid. First thing you must do, students, is log out of your APS Chromebook account. You do that by clicking on the time in the bottom right corner, then click where it says sign out. After you sign out of your Chromebook, your screen should look like this. Do not sign in again. You're going to click on the apps button, which is in the lower left corner. Once you're in the lower left corner of the screen, you're going to click on the apps button. And now you should see a list of all of the testing apps available to you. You're going to click on the one that the teacher tells you to go to. This is a list of all of the apps that you may or may not see in your testing apps menu. On the day of the test, before you launch your testing app, you need to make sure you do these things. First, plug in your charger if you need to charge. Don't wait until the test has started to determine if you need to charge. Then, plug in your headphones and check the sound. If your headphones have sound on the headphones or cord, check to make sure that they're turned up. Then, make sure you are on the Wi-Fi. To check the Wi-Fi, you click on the time again, and then check this little button here to see if you're on the APS Wi-Fi. Next thing to do on test day is to check your sound system to make sure the sound is on. For many of the tests, if the sound is not on before you start, you won't be able to change the volume up or down once you start the test. There's two ways to do this. Either on your keyboard, click the little sound button up and down till it's a comfortable level, or click on the time, then click on the sound button here and make sure it's at a good level. Next, on test day, you're going to sign in using the test specific directions. Generally, this will include a session name or number and a username and password. That username and password will not be your APS username and password. So make sure you check with your teachers to make sure you have the correct username and password for that test. Last, the testing application should launch automatically. If the test you are asked to use does not launch, please notify your teacher immediately. Make sure you follow all directions during the test and answer all the questions to your, the best of your ability. Good luck!